Alright, so your boy's back at it again with another tutorial and I know 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 calm, calm down calm down calm okay boy if you don't your after effects might look different than mine you know because I have flow and stuff I put my audio here it might look different but it's not it doesn't mean it's bad that's fine it's okay so there's these two you can either just you could do this if you want it doesn't really matter I just make a new comp so here let me show okay about the width width and height i'll show you the different aspect ratio so here's the square one here's the or the the wide one, the thing the normal 1080 by 920 1920 by 1080 and then yeah that's the only two i use so start off with the 1920 so the width 1920 by 1080 it should be 16 by 9. well um I edit in this frame rate, 23.976, because I, excuse me, I don't really know. I've just been editing with that. I don't really know what's wrong if it's right. I just do it, so I'll just do that. Here you go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, so if you want to go back to change some stuff in the comp, you know, right click on here, right click, and then you'll see uh, here the settings. Press on it. You can change the like how long the comp is, you know, your edit. Um, it depends really on the song, so I'll just make it funny for now. Boom! So there you go. So this is th this your, this this is the main like preview you have. So that's that's the black screen. What do you say? Mm, I want to fit it. Boom! But it's too zoomed in now. I want to make it fit properly. So right here, twenty five percent. See this? Click on it. Put it to fit up to one hundred percent, and boom. Good job. There you go. Fitted it. And also, when you're gonna um, like edit, make sure this thing is not on full. It should be on half, third, or quarter. Doesn't matter. Just make sure it's not on full. But it depends on your PC, how good your PC is. If you have a godly PC, go ahead, put it on full. Because I'm pretty sure you're, if you know your PC can handle like the pre-rendering, then go for it. But me, I have a pretty average PC, but I want to have a fast workflow. You know, edit really fast, so I'll put it on third. Order if it's really bad, you know, if I can't really even see what's happening. So here, we're going to talk about all the, like, well, most of the layers and what they do. So first of all, let's, how do you import? Don't worry about it, I got you. So go to your project here, so you'll see your comp already here. Best thing to do, organize. So put comps here, put it right here. Just drag it in the folder. There you go. Make one for clips. Make one for music. Okay, I'm going to set up. Um, just delete it normally with the key. Click on it. Boom. Now make sure you don't have any of them selected. Click on the folder again. Hit. This one would be music. I don't know if you're gonna have any sound effects. Okay. So make sure you're there. You're gonna have like sound effects, but and if you're gonna have like you know um those overlays, just put the effects here. Boom. It's good to have it organized and um. Since this is not our main, this is our main comp. Uh, just put it. Just do that, or even you don't have to do that. Just rename this the main comp. So that's this is your main comp. You should remember that. All what you need to know what where this is, because sometimes you're gonna misclick, turn click this off, and whoa, I can't find it anymore. But you have it here. Just double click. Boom, it's up. See, always make sure you do that. In case you don't have to, if you have like hundreds of comps, you know, you don't want to look through it like that. So let's do it. Again. Okay. So we've got our folder set up. How do you import? Double click here. Anywhere on, on this, just double click. And it'll boom, right there. Or another way is to just right click and then import file. So what, let's say we want to edit. Hmm. Animation. See what I have. I have a pretty good amount. Uh, let's pick a random one. Let's do this one. The episode is not here. So drag that to our clips. And then we're going to need your music, of course. Uh, let's just pick a random one from my playlist. Find it first. I have edit audios here. I have everything, so... Everything organized, you know. 
stick. Not select. You can select more than one by shift and then clicking. So if you wanna, you know, get your sound effects ready like that. Do this one. Add that to our music. So what we wanna do is drag the music first on this layer or on the timeline. There you go, you have your full song. See how like there's not enough space here, but that's okay. You can just fix out the main like composition settings, like I said. It's a little bit longer, like seconds maybe would be enough. And then so here we can just drag this out. Easy. So you double here. You wanna you, you wanna know how I do this? Get all the waveforms. So how you do it, you press L two times. Boom. Oh my fault. Here it does that, and boom, you have your waveform. That's good. And now you can all listen to it, look at the beats. Now let's find a drop. Okay, how long is the song again? Yeah, there it is. Okay, here's a drop. Hello? Here. So the waveforms here, really like up there. There you go. So now we want to put markers. So there's two ways to put markers on. You could either put it on uh, using this tool over here at the side. Good thing it's labeled here. Uh, you can just delete it by right clicking, delete this marker. Another way is by using the I think it's asterisk. Is, is that what it's called? Um, if you have a numpad, you can just press the star symbol on your numpad like that. Make sure you're not on your you don't have your layer pressed. Unclick from it. There you go. It shouldn't be highlighted. Press the um, the star thing on your Number numpad, boom. There you go. So just show up like that. It's cleaner. So you just look at your look at the waveforms. You know, like it peaks up here. So it, this should be another beat. See, like I said, doing this until you're ready. You know, I'm not gonna do everything because I'm just showing you how to do it. So you just do the num the num the numpad way, or just clicking through here. It doesn't matter. None of it's the wrong way. It's all right. It's all good. It all works the same. So don't don't worry about it. So I'm not gonna get into get too deep with the transitions so because i'm just gonna I have different videos for that that i'm gonna make or already have a scale a null layer one okay so dragon or so you, normally clips is hard to organize on the timeline first you would like to double click on it open just the footage now you can just trim it roughly here you say you want only want up to this part up to like this part let's say God damn, whoa. All right, so you can just click this, just oh, okay, no. Nope. You wanna start from here, click this button, set in point, and you wanna set the out point too. There, so that's the only thing you're gonna drag into your timeline. When I do this now, it'll only drag that part. There. It's not gonna drag the whole layer, or the whole video. So now, you got that done, let's talk about the normal transforms. So click on this layer. Or this arrow click on this arrow again these are your normal transform like tools you can rotate see you can scale it in with this it's all straightforward positioning you can change it with this the y and this the y this the x pretty easy straightforward anchor point to put where the anchor this thing is anchor point i barely use it i don't i don't really use it that much but yeah and there's normal um so let's say you only want to pull out the scale. Just put click on the layer, press S. Position, press P. Um, anchor point, press A. Um, so for the opacity, like I said here, the opacity is different. Normally you would say, oh, you would do O, oh, right? No. You have to press T, which is transparency. Boom, there you go. But it's still opacity. Just press T itself. You'll remember that. And R for rotation. So it's pretty basic and keyframe you just click on here click on wh wh whatever marker this this is how you add keyframes either if you already have one added you can just make some adjustments and it's already gonna make one automatically or you can just press this triangle or diamond here and it'll make one here for you okay that's just save you just control s just what i did and do it that always 
control S every five minutes or two minutes for every massive change on your project, make sure you control S. Save it. That's basically like a quick save. So yeah, let's say you want to you know, okay, you know, just black, you put motion tile on it. Don't worry, I'll, I have transition, I have transition tutorials already, so click on those videos later after. Let's say, oh my god, it looks so bad. It's like a linear motion. We don't want that. Highlight both of the, these, press F9 on your keyboard, it'll easy ease. Or what you can do instead of F9ing, you can do that. Like both of these, right click, frame assistant, easy ease, boom. Now we can go to our graph tool, like this, and just can zoom in with the minus and plus buttons on like, beside your backspace and your zero. So let's do plus to zoom in. Just change this so to make an out graph with the position. Okay, I messed it up. Make an out graph with the position, just pull it in. Now it'll, it should look like this. And if you want, you can do this opposite direction. Okay, What's happening upstairs. Opposite direction to make it go in. See? Way better already. Oh well, yeah, that's just the basics of the graphs, you know. And then yeah, if are you get flow makes everything easier. I don't have a video. You should search up a video yourself because I don't want to. I'm too lazy. Basically, I'm trying to say. Now let's talk about what what are the what do other layers do? What other layers do we need? My opinion, my the best two that I'm going to talk about is adjustment layers, and another one is uh, null layers. And you can see these are the shortcuts to add these. I don't have to explain it. You already know what to do with these. To turn off your layers, just click on the eye here and turn off the music. Just turn off the music icon here. You don't need null layers for now. Let's talk about adjustments layers. Adjust adjustments adjustment layers. What adjustment layers are? They just um. If you use a light motion, it's just like where you put your coloring. So if I have like what? Four videos of these, you know, you don't, you don't want to put coloring on all of these. Like one color in here, do the same effect I did here on this, do the same effect I did on both on this. I can just do a shortcut and add the effect on an adjustment layer and it will change it. So here, let me, let me show you. Let's, let's say I want to add S underscore invert on all of these. See, if I only add it on here. There you go. It won't. I would have to. Let's say I have a hundred. I have a hundred clips. I have to do this too. I don't want to just con like keep dragging it to the clips, right? What I can do instead is drag it to the adjustment layer. Now, boom! Every clip underneath has this effect, but it's not in the effect controls panel. It's only on the adjustment layer. The adjustment layer adjusts everything underneath. So let's say if I put this underneath everything, it won't do anything. Because it's underneath, it has to be on top. So that's one one thing you need to know too. So basically, you just add your coloring here, inverts here, one frame glitches, you know, and you can even make more. Say I want to make this a little bit brighter. Cut this. Control Shift D to cut. Yeah. And if I were you, when you're editing, try to have like another phone on you or another, or if you have another monitor, have all the shortcuts for After Effects on that. Like make a list. Or get a chart on Google Images. Cut that. Delete with the delete key. So let's start up with the null layers again. What are null objects? Basically, they're controllers for the clip underneath. Let's say if I wanted to here. How long I clip? Up to this marker. So let's say I'm not gonna use a null layer yet. I'm gonna show you an example. So Let's see, let's say it scales, right? Let's see, you did a scale transition here. But, and then, you know, just put graph on it. Motion, motion blur, always turn it on. So let's say you, you want to make a transition. Now you want to zoom it in now. You can't. Because there's already scales here. You can't overlap. That's why, that's where the null layer comes in. So you see the spiral thingy connected to the null layer. Which makes it a make, make this the parent of this. So anything you do on the null layer happens to the clip underneath. So now this null layer is controlling the bottom layer. So now we can do our next scale transition by pressing S on the null. Doing this. Um, now let's put it, zoom it back in. Now let's do 
a in graph and you don't have to add the motion graph uh, the motion um blur here because everything that happens underneath like it still happens so the blur is still happening you don't have to add blur on the null so let's see it now see? now you can see it, it zooms out now it zooms in again so that's why null layers are important you can stack like movement on top of each other you can have a lot of stuff going on with the nulls you can make advanced camera movement you know so yeah that's what nulls are for well that's what i use it for the most what else there's cameras but you don't really need to worry about cameras for now shape layers are just like I, it's just shapes you can add shape anywhere using the tools here add a, a rectangle a rounded rectangle and clips basic, basic stuff text you just drag it on there it makes a layer for you already so it's all straightforward on top and then yeah that's literally all you need to know for for now adjustment layers no layers uh, solids if you really want like a like if you need a background you can have this black solid put it underneath if you want a white background you, just, you can just delete that Control y change the color to white okay and then boom you have a white background now basic you know but yeah that's that's the only layers i really, really use the most null layers and adjustment layers so i hope you understand what i'm trying to say i explained it well or if i'm going um what else do we need i'm just going on the top of my head i don't have the script so yeah uh, you know what I'm yeah okay so camera is just you can make a virtual camera you know light most of these are for like 3d stuff you're not really gonna do that basic if you're a beginner you're basically gonna make like daddy edits or flow edits so but yeah you, you you now know what shape layer does you now know what null layer does solids you know what adjustment layer does so you're basically set so you just edit you know later on uh rendering you just click lit composition make sure you're on the right composition your main comp composition go to add to render queue that's the, i don't have a media encoder so i just do this and then i i hand break it to compress the files then so it's not gonna be like two gigabytes deep, like big but yeah you just do that render it'll just render out hope you understand something just write some stuff in the comments what you want to learn um I'm pretty sure I was a little bit too fast on this video, but if you want to learn something, just go to my videos, my edits on my, you know, uploads. Just look at it. Tell me, hey, what effect did you do for this? I want to learn and I'll either respond to you with this, like how I did it or I'll make a YouTube video about it. If it's like really hard like that. But yeah, hope you understand something. I'll catch you guys later soon. Just, you know, drop a like, follow, what follow my TikTok or something? Subscribe, we're almost at, what, 200? That's insane, man. Alright, well, see you guys.